You are watching Captain Age TV. This is Grandpa Ben from the Dillinger Escape Plan. Thanks. <laughs> Szerbia! Ismét belátogatott szeretett hazánkba a Dream Jazz Képtán nevezetű amerikai metal zenekar. Ahogy ezt már tettem meg vagy két évvel ezelőtt, akkor forgatunk is, végül az énekes csípük el. Most viszont hála Istennek el tudtuk csippenteni bent a gitárost. Vi, itt a vinyaszonok nyara, az az ége van már. Dream képen a világ második legjobb metal zenekara. Fogadjátok őket nagy-nagy szeretettel! someone who has never stood on a stage, uh, how would you describe the feeling? How does it uh, feel like to perform in front of 500 people like tonight? Better than sitting at a desk, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where you, you more appreciate it after the show or when you're sitting around thinking about it because you're so nervous and there's so much to think about and so much to worry about while you're up there. Especially with music like ours, with so much going on all the time and so much energy going on, you really don't have time to think about those type of things. You're really just working to make it uh, everything happen, and that kind of stress is a, is a positive thing. <laughs> I'd be like, if you want your heart to stop, <laughs> listen to my music. But uh, that, that's a good question because that, I really have no idea how to describe, how I would describe it to my Are grandma. Are your parents? My parents come to our shows all the time. They love it. Did they heart stop? No, no, no. They like it. They like watching the crowd. They think it's like a psychological, it, psychologically it's interesting. Like, look at how they're interacting and moshing and stuff. Like, they think it's, <laughs> yeah. it's interesting, you know. But... Uh, they're very supportive. They like it. They have fun. Yeah. Uh, what's the shape of the music that you play? Like a racetrack. Like a blob, like an amoeba. Okay. What's Actually, the what's the shape of a piece of crap? A piece of crap with corn in it. That would be the shape. Whatever piece of crap with corn and maybe some peanuts in it sticking out. That's probably the shape of our music. Yeah. And the smell of your music? It smells like roses. <laughs> okay, what's the strangest piece of equipment that you use on stage? On stage, I don't really use a lot of strings. Okay, and in studio? Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe a, a fire fire extinguisher. Um, uh, fuck, man. I, I've um, man. Why you gotta ask these good questions? Usually, <laughs> I just get the same question over and over again. Yeah, that's what we try to avoid. I don't even have to think. Usually, I'm just like ba 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 ba. Probably my feet, actually. Feet. Yeah, I've held a guitar by the tip and just kicked the sh crap out of it. Uh -huh. Just kicked it really hard in part, and that some of that actually made on the record. Okay. Made some cool noises like bing bong. So, my foot. That's probably it. <laughs> song did you write when you were in love? Which song did I write when I was in love? None. Okay. No. <laughs> when was the last time you were wearing you a wanna, suit? You don't, don't want to write music when you're in love and then it just comes out horrible. What's your, when did you I don't want to sound like Enya or something, you know what I mean?
what to do when you're in love? When I'm in love? Not play Dillinger songs, that's for sure. <laughs> I want to sit in front of my TV with a little bit of ice cream, and I want to be with the girl I love and be like, wait a minute, I'm going to have ice cream, then have sex, then have ice cream, then have sex, then watch TV, and then sleep, then have ice cream. <laughs> Ashamed of yourself? That's why I'm not really ashamed of much. As a person who's 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 ha, made in his pants, had craps in his pants more than four or five times as an adult. There's not much you can be embarrassed about. Mm -hmm. My pants ripped open on stage once. My whole wiener came out. <laughs> it was flopping around. I think I hit a girl in the face with it. I had nothing I can do about it. When everything happens to you in life, you just stop being embarrassed. I'm a midget. Look at me. I'm like a midget. No, you are not. I'm like a freak of nature. You can put me in a cage and sell tickets. There's nothing I'm embarrassed about. Last time you were wearing a suit. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> we got some candies, baby. I want some candy, little girl. Uh, oh, I want, I want some candy. I've been trying to find a girl who have sex with my nose wearing this dress. But <laughs> no way. Everyone just gets grossed out by that idea. <laughs> bar which song would you pick it, any karaoke bar yeah I do uh, uh, by meatloaf um, anything for uh, anything I would do anything for love can we get an example I, do. I would do anything for love I would do anything for love I would do anything for love but I won't do that oh no Aki ezeknél sokkal rosszabb zenekarokat akar megtekinteni, október 23-án biztosan száradjon el a Dürer kertbe, ahol fellép az Isten háta mögött egy unatkozó operatőr és a Wrong Side of the Wall zenekar, illetve október 31-én vasárnap Halloween-kor. Mi hová kell menni Bájnt? Azt most nem mond. A Dürer kertbe kell menni, hiszen megtartjuk a 24. kettőnégy születésnapi buli helyett tartott Halloween ünnepségünket. A beöltözős buli lesz, mindenkit szeretettel várunk 70-es, 80-as, 90-es évek metál öltözetében. Rengeteg jó zenekar fog feldolgozásokat játszani, ajnoks, mint a... Wrong Side of the Wall, Slaughter at the Engagement Party, Ho! Subscribe! Fish és töménytel mennyiségű még másik hét zenekar, többek között a Blind Myself. Kiosztunk pár díjat, úgy ahogy eddig mindig tettük. És aki tud, könyörgöm szóljon Boros Sanyinak, hogy száradjon el a Dürer kertbe, mert lehet, hogy a bősi előtt lesz. Szerbia! <gül> 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 <gül>